is blowing 30 knots, gusting up to 35 knots right now. And boy, am I glad we don't have to be outside <laughs> because it is cold, windy, and it's getting soaked out there with all the waves splashing in the cockpit. And here is not terrible. I mean, it's kind of loud because of all the halyards banging on the mast. But other than that, it's not terribly uncomfortable. We are going downwind and the waves for the most part are coming behind us. So Uma is basically surfing. And the best part is we only have a tiny, tiny little bit of head sail out. Just like a handkerchief and we're still doing six and a half knots. It's still kind of hard to get any s decent sleep because it's so loud. But I'm kind of impressed though that Den manages to always sleep through anything. I, I still can't do it. <laughs> There's nothing to hit out there, but I'm still keeping an eye out. Poking my head out every, every now and then just to make sure there's no ships. I'm gonna close the camera now because I think I woke it up. knots all night long. We turned to run downwind and uh, it's made the ride a little bit better but we're still getting thrown around pretty bad. The waves are definitely uh, two to three meters. Um, good news is the wind's supposed to continue to die a little bit more throughout the day and um, clock a little bit more out of the west. Another good thing is that it's coming out of south uh, which means it brought a little bit of rain to wash the salt water off the boat and it's also pretty warm it's kind of warm humid air so it's not um it's not super cold at least which is nice everything makes a lot of noise when it's pulling 30 knots It is one of those days. It is sort of raining and sort of foggy and miserable looking outside. So, most likely we're just gonna be taking turns sleeping all day. <laughs> I was also very optimistic to think that I could be doing a lot of editing whoa, <laughs> during this passage. Um, nope. So far I'm not having any luck. It's just so rolly and everything moves so much and with all those giant swells it's impossible to concentrate and get any work done so i'm just here hanging out then is taking a nap for a few hours and yeah just listening to everything around me <laughs> oh. Beaufort's 
scale is a widely accepted way of categorizing offshore weather conditions. What we were sailing in today would be considered as a force 8 gale, with speed averaging 30 to 35 knots and gusting up to 40. In conditions like these, we see no benefit of making these conditions overdramatic or scary. We trust our boat and our own judgment, and we believe that staying calm and collected is the only way to push through safely. Well, it is pretty much impossible to keep the camera still out there. Um, hopefully we got some sort of footage of those waves because they're pretty big and they're all over the place. Um, but the wind has slowly started to decrease. We're down to like 25 to 28 knots instead of 38 knots. Um, and it's supposed to decrease throughout the rest of the day. And then it looks like we'll get a couple of days of pretty favorable sailing. So oh, hopefully last night was the worst night we'll have for a while because uh, we could both use some sleep about now. We just have this tiny little scrap of head sail out, um, which is just enough to keep us steering downwind and st sailing along at about five and a half, six knots. Um, last night when I was blowing 35 to 38, we were sailing at seven and a half knots with just this tiny, tiny little bit of head sail. So I definitely wouldn't want to be out here in anything stronger than 40 knots of wind. That's for sure. But yeah, the wind's supposed to continue to slow down a little bit throughout today and clock a little bit more northwesterly. And then um, hopefully we'll have a couple of days of pretty favorable sailing so we can stop snaking our way along our course line running downwind when all these low pressures blow over. But this is the North Atlantic we were kind of expecting, kind of cold, wet, 30 knots downwind. Um, that's pretty much the forecast for this time of year, so it is pretty much what it's like to cross the North Atlantic in August. It's not fun, but uh, it's not scary either. And we're still pointing our bow in the right direction, so it's all good. <laughs> 